startling statistic, but there are 84,000 San Diegans who are living with dementia. Imagine trying to explain something like a pandemic and store closures to somebody who would have a really difficult time understanding that. Well, you know what, Alzheimer's San Diego, even in the middle of pandemic, they're still doing something about it. I want to bring into you this morning, Eugenia Welch, president and CEO of Alzheimer's San Diego, with more on the virtual ride that's expected to still take place this Saturday. Hi, Eugenia. Hi, good morning, Heather. Tell us what's going to happen this Saturday. You call it a virtual ride, but really motorcycles will still be hitting the pavement. Right. We're very excited. This is our fourth year of our Rides for Alls. It's a 100-mile motorcycle ride around San Diego County. And just because there's a pandemic doesn't mean you can't get out and ride your uh, motorcycle around the county. So people are going to be, normally they would take off from our location here in Mass. Last year we had about 260 people. Um, this year people are going to take off from their own location all around the county and complete the ride on their own. Tell me about the money that's raised and where it goes. So the great thing about Alzheimer's San Diego is we are 100% local. Every dollar raised in San Diego stays in San Diego County. So all the money goes to help people in San Diego dealing with Alzheimer's disease. Thank you so much for what you're doing. And now I want to introduce you to one of the riders. So thanks to the magic of Zoom, Eugene, I'm going to place you on mute real quick here. And I'm going to unmute our friend Erica over here. Erica Beal, one of the riders, is going to be taking part in all of this. Erica, tell us a little bit about your story. And I see your hubby on the bike right behind you, too. Yes. Hello, and thank you for having us. Uh, my name is Erica Beal, and I've been involved with Alzheimer's San Diego since the inception. Uh, currently, when I used to work at San Diego Gas and Electric, uh, we were the first group to come together and really bring awareness. And what a better way than with the writing community. Uh, my husband and I have been writers for quite some time. I think this is going to be our fourth year to ride, and uh, we're really excited to ride um, in this particular event. Um, this organization is pretty dear to our heart. Um, my grandma Garcia suffered from Alzheimer's for 10 years. And when you go through that, um, you see your loved one, all the precious memories and the stories, little by little they fade away. And uh, we started losing those memories and just the name losses. And so um, unfortunately we did lose the battle with Alzheimer's, but we do write in her memory of grandma Garcia. And it's just such a special cause to come together and ride for such a great organization and um, I'm happy now to be able to ride um, now as a business owner you know like I said initially I started with San Diego Gas Electric and now um, you know the past year we, I was able to create a business and go out and solicit more riders and get a great new community to, to support this great event. Tell me about the ride and what it's like to get all these folks together out there, San Diego County, hitting the open roads, what that feels like, and how that also helps you to remember Grandma Garcia. It's, it's an amazing experience. Um, you know, we're very fortunate that we live in San Diego, which is beautiful. Um, and just to sit back and just reflect and have that time of peace and remembering why you're writing and who you're writing for or even the community beyond that. Um, it just gives you that level of respect for them and um, just to have those special memories at that time. I see Jeremy's ready on the bike behind you, ready to get going <laughs> this weekend. You mentioned, Erica, you just started a business recently. We might as well take a moment to talk about what that is too. Well, we're really excited about it. Yeah, I mean, for many years, I worked in the, the gas and energy sector for over 16 years and always had a passion in my dream to, to start a woman-owned business and particularly a military spouse-owned business. You know, my husband served for over 21 years and still in, and um, it's now the opportunity where he's going to be looking at retiring and me to follow my dreams. So um, it's been a really great transition to have the support of my family and just the, the veteran community out here. So we do a lot of things for the community. Uh, we've created a program called Impact Now. And what it does is it hires transitioning veterans and military spouses like myself and gives them job opportunities and prepares them with culture assimilation into the workforce. Oh my gosh, you're finding every way to give back. And thank you so much and to your husband too for your service to our country. I'm gonna keep you up there on the screen. I'm gonna invite Eugenia back into our interview here. Eugenia, I'll go ahead and one more time, let folks know what they're, where they can go for more information about the ride this weekend. Sure, they can go to our website, alzsd.org. 
and find out all the information about the ride this weekend. We are really excited for it. It's a $50 registration fee, but I think through our uh, partnership with Channel 8 and with some of our sponsors, the first 15 people who log in uh, this morning and use the promo code NEWS8RIDES will get a free registration. So we just want to get people out there um, riding for Alzheimer's San Diego. Thank you again, Eugenia Welch, President and CEO of Alzheimer's San Diego. Again, it's called Ride for All. It's happening this Saturday. We'll put the information on our website, cbsstate.com. Erica, thank you. And of course, we will keep Grandma Garcia and her legacy in our hearts. Thank you.